Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. This is Shane from DNS Adventures, and I'm going to be showing you around Mount Desert Narrows Campground in Maine. So as you can see here, we're at site 341 at Mount Desert Narrows Camping Resort, sorry, and near Bar Harbor, Maine. And as you might already know, we have a 21 foot rig. It's actually 25 foot with the hitch. And we fit no problem at all into this spot. The spot comes with um, water and electric. We opted out of the sewer because there's a really nice shower and restroom over there. So we had no need to actually worry about our tanks filling up too much. But it does come with a nice fire pit over here and a picnic table. Picnic table is a little rustic falling apart a little bit but it still works just use some firewood to level it out a little bit on our site this campground is actually a thousand islands um, campground so if you have a thousand islands membership you can get a discount here we actually have passport america sunday through thursday you can get 50 percent off your campground fortunately we came here during the holiday weekend memorial holiday weekend so we weren't able to get that price but we just paid the weekly rate so that was a little bit cheaper than just paying the holiday prices around here. Now I'm going to show you a little bit more around the campground show you the difference between the Narrows, Best, the Premium and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> so we're actually located over here in the Best site at 341 and there's Premium that has um, full hookups. You get your sewer, water and electric 50 and 30 amp. Here you can have 30 and 50 amp but it just comes with water and electric. Same thing with the Narrows, you can have um, 30 and 50 amp, I think a 30 and 50 amp, might just be 30 amp. And you get water, electric there, um, oh, I guess it shows right up here. So it's just 30 amp at the Narrows, 30 amp at the best two sites up here. There's also a bunch of ocean view parking up here, so I'll show you that in a little bit. So all alongside here on the right side is Narrows, which is... I think the cheapest area you can get, which we probably should have just came here, quite honestly, because the best site comes with cable. This, I think the only thing that this site, the difference between this one and ours is that this one doesn't come with cable. And we haven't really used cable the entire time we've been here. So could have saved a little bit more money choosing one of these sites. The best sites, well, I don't know if they're the best, but they're called the best sites on the map, are located over here on my left and all the way up here through this grassy area. The Narrows, you'll be able to get a little bit more of a woodsy feel. There's some, a few more trees over here, but if you wanna be a little bit more in the open, get a little bit more sun, the premium and the best sites are probably good for you. And if you don't have an RV and you're just coming here to the tent camp, they do have a ton of tent camp sites around here as well. There's some that are kind of mixed in with the RV area with these little platforms, wooden platforms built up. You can set up camp or just around here, some ocean view tent spots as well. Set up your tent and just check out this awesome view. And down here, just a little ways, you have some ocean front parking as well. There are some trees blocking a little bit of the view, but you can still peer between the trees and get some pretty good views of the Bay Area through here. As I said, we did come here on Memorial Day weekend, and honestly, it hasn't been that packed. I'm guessing a little bit further on, since we are up in Maine, a couple weeks from now, I'll probably start getting a little bit more traffic through here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the campground. We've really loved our stay here so far. Definitely a good trial period for the RV life. And check out this view over here. Site 93 if you want Site 93. <laughs> I believe they do offer seasonal rates here as well. So they have daily, weekly, monthly, and also seasonally, seasonal rates. Another one of the cool things about this campground is there is a little public access site here. Kind of have to walk in between two sites. So try to make sure you aren't disturbing someone if they do have their rigs parked here. I'm guessing you could probably rent these out. I'm not sure if it's, I haven't asked them, but they are locked up here, so you can't just take them off. I'm assuming you can rent these guys out and take it off onto the Bay Area. I might actually end up doing that later. Check it out. 
But yeah, this is the first time I've been down here on high tide. The low tide, you can really walk out there. They do have these bins spread out throughout the campsites. So you can dump your trash in there. And they also have recycling as well, so you can dump off your recycling. There's a couple bathhouses. They both offer showers and restrooms in them. They have a couple dump stations, one in the middle of the camp area, and then there's also one near the entrance of the campsite, or the campground, not the campsite. Now I'm walking through the premium area through here where you get full hookups. It can get packed up a little tight like sardines throughout here, but depending on how full the campground is, you'll probably be fine. Just get a site that's a little bit further away from the other one. The showers here are absolutely amazing. You have two locks to lock your door and you have your own private shower room. As far as signal goes, the Wi-Fi is kind of hit or miss. Since there's not a whole lot of people at the campground, I think it's better than probably what it usually is. We can still stream things at lower quality. As far as cell signal goes, um, AT&T definitely is the winner around this area. We both have, we have Verizon on our phones and then we have an AT&T hotspot that we usually use for data. Before we came here, we researched and they said that the AT&T is quite a bit better than Verizon. We'd have to agree with that. Um, I've been able to make calls with my cell phone, but we haven't really used it for any internet connectivity as a hotspot. Hope you enjoyed this quick little review of Mount Desert Narrows Campground in Maine. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at dnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on. I forget the name of this place.